So here's your restaurant owner reality check. If your food cost is higher than you think it should be, you're not managing your kitchen correctly. You don't have the right systems in place to control your food costs. And if you have recipe costing cards, you don't know what to do with them. So what systems am I talking about that would reduce your food costs, prevent theft, and ensure you hit your target food cost? Let me provide you with a list of systems every restaurant needs to have in place. Before that, let me remind you, to know where your food cost should be, you must have a budget. That's a whole nother discussion. So let's run down these kitchen systems to control your food costs, to lower your food costs, to ensure you are going to make the money you deserve. You're gonna put in the key item tracker. That's where we count five to 15 items every shift to make sure those items are not stolen. It's a little more complicated. We start with what we had. We bring in what we prepped or purchased, what we ended with. We go to our POS system, find how many we sold and see the difference. Along with that, it should all match. There should be no variance. If there's a variance, it better be on the waste tracker. If not, I have worse than theft. I have managers not using the damn systems I put in place to control theft. But the waste tracker, all we're doing is writing down things that we wasted. Whether we ended the night and had to dump a ninth pan, a ninth pan of rice, or we threw away a case of tomatoes, as I said in the past. Or maybe we lost a case of salmon because it's spoiled. Maybe we have a new cook on the pizza oven and burned a pizza and we threw it away. See, it doesn't matter why it was wasted. It's a proactive management tool. Not only do we know the product value we wasted, but when you see there's a problem right then and there, it's a proactive system that you can change your trajectory. Hey, John's been burning steaks. I'm going to retrain John, reposition John before he hits the grill independently, or maybe it's gone on for so long, I'm going to terminate John. I'm gonna stop losing steaks instead of waiting for the end of the month and looking backwards going, why is my food cost high? A system I call the Restaurant Checkbook Guardian, otherwise known as the Purchase Allotment System, where I give my managers, based on my budget, my forecast, my actual purchases, and my DSR, I tell each one of my managers how much money they can spend on their next order to be within budget. And by doing so, I can put my kitchen manager, my chef on a budget with a little leeway. And if they want to go over that budget, they need to find what the problem is. They need to tell me what they did to fix it. And I get to make the final decision because there's only one person allowed to go over budget. That's me in my business. Now, all of a sudden, just think about that. If you can stop dumbass mistakes, you can reduce theft, and you can put your kitchen team on a budget, you can see how quickly I'll guarantee you a two, three point drop in your food costs alone right then and there without any other systems. But then we get a time temp checklist to make sure we don't lose product because it's spoiled. We then get into, we're going to do practices of mise en place. Well, that's a French term for those who don't know. Now, I'm going to tell you, I had to learn it because I'm a front house person, but mise en place is a French term for having all your ingredients measured, cut, peeled, sliced, grated, etc. before you start cooking. Pans are prepped, mixing bowls, tools, equipment are set out. Well, what can I do for mise en place? Well, this will be done with the following systems. Having a prep system to make sure all your prep is done, that you're prepared and ready for the shift that you're pre-portioning items so that when it's time to make something, instead of grabbing, well, 12 chicken wings, you know, with your hand in a glove or whatever it may be, you actually grab a portion bag and just dump it. And you know the perfect portion every single time, saving time and money because you're not giving away product. Portion controls on the line, which means you need a portion control line checklist where you are making sure that if it says a two ounce ladle, a two ounce ladle goes in, that not a four ounce ladle and that you're losing product every single time, especially if you're using something like a demi-glaze that's very expensive and very rich. You use four ounces of a product instead of two that a recipe calls for, you're destroying a dish and you're losing money. Next, you need food and beverage control software. This is critical. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I preach this all too well. In fact, in my old company, we created software that did this. Now, I don't care which one you use. Well, I will tell you that most of my members who I recommend is Margin Edge, but it doesn't matter. There's so many different softwares out there, but you gotta have recipe cost guards to know what every item you, you sell, what it costs. 
And oh, by the way, the magic of it is take a picture of an invoice, send it up, and every recipe card is up to date, your next order is up to date, your next inventory is up to date. You have all the information you need for your next order. So all of a sudden, spreadsheets are dead. Recipe costing cards can only be done properly in software anymore. You can set up shelf sheet inventory to take inventory on a weekly basis in under an hour. I have $2 million restaurants I work with that take inventory in under an hour every single week and know their food costs right away. Order guides with par levels. So people aren't guessing going, well, I, I could use a little extra that. They know what they need because the system tells them. And the mic drop of food and beverage software is ideal versus actual product usage. Because you're taking inventory, because you've got your invoices in there, because you have recipe costing cards and your menu mix tied in from your POS system, you can clearly see that all of a sudden you use 350 pounds of chicken and you should have only used 300. Highlight it and go, I have a problem. And finally, menu engineering with recipe costing cards, with your product mix. We can find out not only what your ideal food cost is, but we can make changes using menu engineering science to reduce your food cost anywhere from three to seven points the first time through. From there, we battle for a point or half a point or so on to offset the rising costs of our product. See, that's where I'm not so concerned with my vendors. If I have recipe costing cards and I menu engineer at minimum on a quarterly basis, I can offset what's happening in the marketplace. And the only way all these systems get used every day, every shift, there must be a chef, manager, line supervisor, or key employee on those on the line whose job is to make sure these systems are used or they'll just go away just as fast as you put them into place. If you'd like to ask me questions directly about what I just taught you, be sure to join me every Friday on YouTube live at 8 a.m. Pacific time travel schedule permitting, where I get you motivated about your upcoming weekend, but more importantly, I answer your questions live.